So let's let's talk about um, producer management. And I think I've asked you this this question before, uh, Seth, but feel free to to chime in. But I, I'd like to ask um, afterthought and hear the perspective of a producer. When does a producer need a manager? Um, I think it's the same time that any artist needs a manager. Just when you start having to have, you know, having the ability to have someone else make an impact for you. Cause a lot of the times, I mean, I've heard you talk about it a ton of times. It's like that whole, you really don't need a manager until you know, you know, th th they'll know they'll start coming to you because you have a big enough situation where there's something there. And it took me 10 years to get to that point. Um, I think that, you know, I, I just kind of self-sustained and did what I had to do. Um, but I didn't really have the opportunities that were even warranted having a manager. Um, especially on the on the production side. So like producers don't obviously get the credit that they deserve and they don't get the billings. They don't get the credits correctly all the time. Um, so as that's starting to progress and get a little bit better with people crediting them better and doing that, I think that's opening up the doors more for producers to have a proper manager. Um, but for me, especially like I'm an artist, I'm a producer, I have a lot going on. So it kind of helps me on all facets. Um, but on the production side, I mean, I don't know where to start with like uh, Seth does a really good job with getting like sample packs from us and, and different artists and, you know, sending those out and making sure that he's doing all that type of thing. I, I, that's not something I really think about or have the time to do necessarily in my structure. Um, so it just makes sense, but you kind of know, it's like, I can't handle all this and I need some help. Yeah. So t take us back to when <laughs> you and Seth created that uh, manager client relationship what was it that was going on in your career as a producer that seth came and complimented added enhanced etc um i think it was kind of just the right timing really um i mean the pandemic happened obviously and for me i started doing a lot of edm stuff i started picking i kind of went through a little low when the pandemic st like started I, I mean, I was like everybody else. I was just kind of bummed out. I didn't really know what, you know, what, what are we going to do? I didn't have shows. I didn't, I wasn't working. It's just like, it's, it's kind of scary. You know, you don't know before all the help and all the stuff that was going on. You're like, okay, I, I need to figure this out real quick. And what I found was I just started working. I just started creating and just going crazy on all different things. And when I took my head up, I was like, damn, I have all of this stuff and there's no way that, I'm realistically going to be able to do all of these things by myself. And Seth was coming into the same thing with the pandemic. I mean, he had a completely different trajectory as well. And, you know, it just kind of changed things for the, I don't know if it's for the better yet or, or what, but, you know, changed his path as well. And it was just the right timing for both of us. He wanted to, to kind of get more into the management side. I've known him for a very long time. It's a close friend of mine. I've been through, just a bunch of stuff where things just didn't really work out. And I just wanted someone that was going to be kind of like on my team and want to kind of grow it from the start. And he was the right person for it. I think one of the biggest uh, like synergies between Afterthought and I uh, is just having someone that you can trust and feet on the ground in Los Angeles also. Mm -hmm. That's a huge thing, you know, because I think as an artist, if you're, if you're established, um, and your home base is anywhere but one of these like music cities, it's good to have um, someone there. 